Welcome to Real Truth Real Quick. My name is Rick Smith. I'm here with my friend Todd Wagner. How you doing, Todd? We are friends, Rick. What's happening? Well, I got a question. Do you watch any TV preachers? Any television? <laughs> What's your favorite television preacher? Oh, man. I, Do you have any favorites? I can honestly say I don't have one. Okay. Well, this verse, if you watch television <laughs> preachers, there's a little verse in James, and they use a verse that's tucked away in there, and it says, you do not have because you do not ask. Huh. What does that mean, and what can I ask for? I know somebody's thinking, Todd, you don't have a favorite TV preacher because you do not watch. If you watch this guy, you'd love him. I bet you there's somebody on TV out there, if I watched, I would love. I bet. But what does this verse mean? Let's read it. It comes from James chapter 4, verse 1 through 3. It sticks there in the last part, and, and it would be uh, behoove us to read it together so we can understand. So James 4, you ready? James is saying this. What is the source of quarrels and conflicts among you? Is not the source your pleasures that wage war? Hedone is the word, or hedone is the word. We get hedonism from it. That, that, that your love for self and pleasure, he says, uh, is, is the cause of the problem. You lust and do not have, so you commit murder. You are envious and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. And then verse 2, you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and don't receive because you ask with wrong motives so that you may spend it on your pleasures. Why did I read verse 3? I read verse 3 because it's the answer to this question, okay? Um, just a couple of things. Jesus says something very similar in Matthew chapter 7. He says, ask and you'll receive. Seek, you'll find. Knock, the door will be open. Uh, John 15, 7, Jesus says this. Uh, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So do you see the condition that's put on it right there in John 15, 7? It's the solution to what Jesus meant in Acts 7 and what his brother James, through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, meant in James 4, 2. And that is, um, you are going to get what God wants to give you when you seek what God wants to give you. God's not going to give you things uh, based on what you want because what you want is not always what you need. All right. What James is saying right now is that you're seeking peace, you're seeking joy, you're seeking life in all the things that are uh, consistent with the world. Earlier, or actually not earlier, uh, in, in, uh, a little later in the New Testament, John wrote in 1 John 2, he said that basically friendship with the world is enmity with God. Don't love the world or the things that are in the world. Okay, For all that's in the world, the lust of the eyes, the uh, lust of the flesh, the boastful pride of life, okay, are of the world and not of the Father. And, and so when you pursue those things, you're not going to get what you get when you have a relationship with the Father. What do you get when you have a relationship with the Father? Peace that passes understanding, joy, peace between other people. And James is saying, look, the reason you got all kinds of problems out there is because you're not living as spiritual people. You're living as worldly people. And worldly people don't have peace. Worldly people go to war. You've got something I want, so I'm going to do what I need to do to get it from you. James is saying, you want peace? Ask God, okay? And when you ask, don't ask uh, according to your own selfish pleasure. Ask in a way that Jesus says you should ask, which is consistent with the word of God. So when Jesus says, ask and you receive, what he's saying, you're never going to get peace. You're never going to get joy and fulfillment from the world. You're never going to get happiness from the world, if you understand the word happiness. Um, you're going to get the blessed way. When you ask God, hey, show me the way. So uh, a, a good explanation of this is just that old verse in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. That's James 4, 1. The way you think you should get it is by seeking your way. But uh, in all your ways acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. Ask God, lead me in the everlasting way, like it says in Psalm 139. And uh, that's the way you want to go. Awesome. So you're saying he will give me the desires of my heart <laughs> as much as the desires of my heart line up with the desires of his heart. Yeah, and, I, and even that verse there in Psalm 37, 4, that what, what he's saying there is what your heart really desires, okay, is deep peace and joy. Uh, and, and so you'll never get that by trying to have your desires met in the world. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, keep praying. Keep asking God. Uh, for the things that God wants you to ask. And we'll see you next week on another episode of Real Truth Real Quick.